All right, people, welcome back to more Fake Card Friday. So I have a ton of fake cards that have been submitted, but uh, this one's a little bit interesting. It's, it's not necessarily the concept of the fake card, but just something interesting that I wanted to share with you guys. So today we're going to have a fake card of a combination between Leo Dancer and Yubel, in which someone on the forums, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Cardmaker forums, uh, was Google imaging uh, some images of... Little Light Leo Dancer, probably looking for that click, clickbait shit, you know, that mega capital G shit. And uh, one of the interesting things that popped up is this image that you're seeing on the card right here, where Leo Dancer's eyes are that orange and that green. And of course, who do we know has that orange and the green eyes? So, oh, and the skin tone fits too, like, it literally looks like they just took you Bell's face and put it on Leo Dancer. I've never really noticed that. Like, I'm not sure if it's just this particular image, because the other image I saw, Leo Dancer's eyes were red, but I don't know. But if this is actually true, that Leo Dancer's face looks like that, and, you know, the eyes and, the, you know, everything, then that would be pretty interesting. Like, I, I, I you know, it, it just fits. It really does. So, with this image that you can just simply just Google search, like, all you have to do is just type Leo, uh, Luna White Leo Dancer, it pops right up. It's one of the, uh... I'd say like 10 images, 10, first 10 images, you'll see it, you'll see it immediately. Uh, with that, someone created a fake card fusing Luna Knight, uh, uh, Leo Dancer with you, Bell. So I was like, screw it, you know, just because it's just interesting that uh, if Leo Dancer actually legitimately looks like that, then that's, that's, that's a cool nod back, especially since it's in, you know, the, you know, she's from the fusion dimension and, you know, you Bell and GX and all of that, so... Uh, let's go ahead and look at this card. Uh, as I, said, I did not make this card. This other person did, and uh, I guess we can determine whether it'd be good or not. I mean, it's a lot to work up for. Not only do I have to play Ubel and a Lunalite deck, or Lunalites and a Ubel deck, or whatever combination, which I don't think there's too much synergy outside of them just being dark. Like, I guess, like, if it really had some true great synergy, I probably would have made it already, but because it doesn't, it's kind of eh. So, that's not a thing. But, uh, with this card, you're apparently supposed to fuse your uh, Leo Dancer with Ubel. So, <coughs> hopefully it's worth it. Because, I mean, something like Leo Dancer is only, already takes a lot of resources, a lot of work. Well, unless you're doing that uh, new Junshishi shit, then not really. Then all you have to do is just, you know, have a Ubel in your hand, poly it one more time, and fuse and summon into this. So, this is Luna Light Ubel Dancer. Alright, it's level 10, just like Ubel, Dark, Beast Warrior instead of Fiend. So, uh, went with more of the... the Luna Lights on this one, Fusion Effect Monster. It says it's made with one Leo, Luna Light Leo Dancer plus you bell. So go ahead and make your Leo Dancer. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough, 3,500 monsters you can't even uh, be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's uh, card effects, you know, <coughs> then you fuse it with you bell. Then you fuse it with you bell. So let's look at this effect and determine whether this is worth it. Because that's a lot of resources, a lot of work, and not much synergy uh, besides the fact that they just kind of look alike. So. Uh, must be fusing something with the above materials and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Okay. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent, by card effects, or by battle. So, it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent. Like, you cannot target me. You cannot destroy me by battle. You cannot destroy my card effect. So, one of the outs to uh, Leo Dancer, of course, is Utopia the Lightning, but this card can't be destroyed out either. So, you can go to Utopia the Lightning, use your effect, and go up to 5,000. That's nice. That's grand and all, but I'd only take 15 and I'm not dead. So... Yeah, and and when I said that I take 15, uh, no, I don't, because you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. Now you're wondering, well, Utopia Lightning, that doesn't activate. That's a continuous effect. The cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponents, by your opponent, by card effect or by battle. You take no battle damage from battles involving this this card. Those are all continuous, which means they do not activate, which means when you attack me with Utopia Lightning, nothing happens. So, I guess that's one benefit for having uh, Luna Light U Bell Dancer instead of just simply Leo Dancer. Uh, the bonus of the effects kind of fill in where Leo Dancer uh, is missing with U Bell, so that's good. pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, during damage calculation, when this face up attack position card is attacked by your opponent's monster. It's 35, oh, I mean, who the fuck is attacking you? And this effect activates, so it's not like Utopia Lightning. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Like, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's attack. No. I would have liked it better that, you know, uh, I mean, it is before damage, cal damage calculation, so I guess that's pretty good. But I would have liked to have said, 
If this face up attack action card battles an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. You know, that would have been better. That would have been much better. But I guess, like I said, this is only first form Uvel, so that's kind of copied and pasted from first form Uvel instead of more, you know, Ultimate Nightmare. It's like, hey, if it battles. But you're 3,500. No one's going to be attacking you unless they're attacking with Utopia Lightning. But like I said, the Utopia Lightning can't handle this like it can handle uh, Leo Dancer, so. I don't know. For a card that cannot be targeted, destroyed by your uh, opponent, period, by battle or by card effect, why are you attacking into it? So, <laughs> uh, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Alright, that's from Leo Dancer, which is fine. You know. Oh, I forgot to say her stats. She's still 3,500 attack, 3,000 defense. I don't think that's changed from Leo Dancer. Not like Ubel was going to give her any stats anyway. It's just like, hey, I got zero and zero. You know, I'm going to give you zero. So, you know. But I really can't say anything. I mean, Thousand Eyes are straight. <laughs> with, yeah, with the question, thousand eye idol, zero to zero is zero, so. Uh, anyway, next effect. Uh, once per turn, if this card attacked in a monster at the end of the damage tap, you can destroy all special summon monsters your opponent controls. Alright, so that's 480 much Leo Dancer. And uh, last effect, during your end phase, tribute one other monster or destroy this card. That's from you, Bell. I mean, there's not much creativity with this, you know? Someone said, I imagine this card with this effect basically both the effects in one but but besides the fact that they have absolutely no synergy they're just not really complementing each other too much you know like the the attacking twice that's fine but the whole like oh yeah this card is it's not gonna get attacked and if this card battled and you inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack and then destroyed all special summon monsters then hell yeah we can talk you know both of them went off you get to attack twice uh, the whole during your end phase should be one other monster to destroy this card. Uh, I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. I mean, it's kind of dumb and you are negging, but I mean, you are pretty much getting a monster who really can only be taken out with like what? A Mirror Force? A Kaiju? Yeah, a Mirror Force or a Kaiju, really. Because, I mean, this car shit cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent, so that's really difficult to deal with, you know. And it just sucks that it says by your opponent, so even if you did happen to make, like, a Luna Light Ubel deck, there'd really be no, like, synergy. It's not like you could, like, summon this and then have, like, Terra and then Terra wipe the field and then this wouldn't die. You know, it's kind of like, eh, they would still die. It's only block protected by your opponent, so... I don't know. I don't know. Like, like I said, it, we mostly looked at this for the card. It was just interesting. It's just interesting. You know, I can't really tell if it's fake or not, or if someone actually uh, did this. But I mean, it fits. It really does. It fits. So, anyway, uh, that's it for this card. And I said it, it could be a bit better. Like, it was actually a legitimate real card. It just really wouldn't be worth too much of the effort. Like. I, I guess you could throw in a Ubella deck, a Ubella in your Luna deck, so you could fuse into this, but that would be more neg on resources just to protect yourself from Utopia the Lightning, which is probably your only main deck out. So, if your opponent's not playing any, like, Mirror Forces or something, then they pretty much lose, because there's just no real main deck answer, or they're not, or they're playing Kaijus. But, anyway, I am done with Fake Card Friday. So, we have plenty of more Fake Card Fridays to look at. You guys have just been sending me so many Fake Cards, so many. And I, I, I want to get look at them all, but, you know, I don't know, we'll get one fake card per week, so we, we got a long time to go, a long time. And if the channel grows and we get more people, then you already know, you already know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, fake card Friday. So tell me what you guys think about this card. What do you guys th think about the art? Like, is that legit? Because I'm just not sure. I'm just not, it looks really legit. Like, the f it looks like it went, came straight out of the anime. But I'm just not sure. If it's true, then awesome. But if not, then all right, that, that's fair. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Yubel was uh, reincarnated as a uh, Light Leo dancer. Like, you know what? I can go with that. I would, I would probably try to make the the deck, <laughs> combine the two decks, just because, just because. But I, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.